CBS 46 is Rebecca Schramm joining us live. Rebecca, a local speech pathologist making a difference for these kids. He is Robin Grabeer. You know, he used to stutter himself, so he knows how difficult it can be to communicate when your mouth is covered. Well, he introduced us to this young man. It's gotten better um, as, um, as I've gotten old, um, um, older. 11-year-old Sam Troster says, as someone who stutters, it's been tough during the pandemic. Wearing a regular mask, others can't see that he's trying to finish his thought. When people try, try to fill in my blanks, um, that's really hard for me. I was a kid who stutters, and if I was one today, I would want to be seen. Dunwoody speech language pathologist Tim Mackesy told me what recently happened when a teacher asked one of his clients, a teenage girl, her name. So here she is, her eyes are big, nothing's coming out, and the teacher said, you don't have a name? It's why through his nonprofit called RaiseYourVoiceInc.org, he's hoping to raise funds to get special clear masks to as many students with speech impediments as possible. He gave us one to give to Sam. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at how much we can see, baby. I'm a little biased, but I believe he has a lot of great thoughts and a lot of great things to say, and I want him to be able to communicate clearly and without frustration. This would help a lot of stutters. A lot of stutterers.